me with, with that in ML, years ago I heard about, uh, well, I heard it recently, but it happened years ago, there was somewhat of a, somewhat of a race riot. 1930, July 4th. July 4th, 1930. And my daddy was in it. Okay, that's what I mean. Tell me because I, I heard some things about that and I also understand that although it was maybe extended family, would you tell me what you know about it? What I know about it, it was July 4, 1930. Daddy was in it. Daddy played baseball. He did a lot of baseball playing from York and all over ML. And it was July 4th and they were coming home from the baseball game. And some fellas, I don't know, I think he said they were the Taylor boys. They killed the white man. I'm going to tell you, you, you for sure, and then the ties on that. Mm -hmm. I believe, because Bobby, Bobby's not in here, but he shared that information. Some Robinsons. Robinsons? Okay. The, the Robinsons, and then I'll let you finish, but I think it's the same situation. Jim's wife was Lena Robinson. Right. And I think these were her, possibly her uncles. They they could have been. And that was them that, because I think that had to do with a part of the family back away from celebrating the 4th of July, because that happened on the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. But go ahead, he, he said that they killed a white man. They killed a white man, and then he, Daddy said it ran to St. Louis. Okay. Okay, so they were coming, and Daddy said they stopped them from coming to, when they went gone to play ball and they stopped them. Well, daddy had a gun. And and so when they stopped him, there was, they, he saw them sh kill a man. They shot a man. And they had, the, I mean the white folks shot this man. And then daddy said, they said, what you call it when they, sh you know, pat him down? Well, when they said open your legs, his gun fell out. And they was going to kill him. And they cock, he said they cocked the gun to kill him. And it was a white lady standing there. She said, don't shoot him. That's Robert Brown's grandson. And that's why they didn't shoot him. They put him in jail for about 60 days. And he stayed in jail for 60 days. And he said, he, only thing he did was carry a gun. But the riot was... That was the July 4th, 1930 ride. And Daddy said it, it wasn't in history book, but now it's in the history book. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it was Daddy and it was center focused characters in that riot. And what say him was that a, a, the, white, a lady white lady? Said, and he did tell us, he did tell me her name and say she said, Don't kill him. That's Robert Brown's grandson. And that's why he didn't get killed. And, uh, it was 1930, the riot of the Sumter County, ML, what, whatever it was, riot of 1930. Mm -hmm. That's something interesting. What, mm -hmm. what we're hoping to, to do with all of this is not only archive um, Brown family history, but knowing who we are and, and, and our connections and things like that. And you, again, you have to travel from Cleveland is where you live now. Right. Travel from Cleveland, and even though you're not able to necessarily make it every year, but you've been here more than once. Mm -hmm. So it, it seems that you think it's important to try to be here. Uh, what What is it about the family reunion for you? Is that something that you said, like I, I mean, you may have already said, that your father just instilled in you to, to know family? Is that right? My daddy always instilled in me no family. He always talked to me about Grandpa Rob and Grandma Sally. Grandpa Sally raised him because his mother died when he was two years old. Okay. And so he was, as my mother would say, he was her baby. Okay. And so he loved his Grandma Sally okay. and his Grandpa Robert. Okay. But he was his Grandma Sally's baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because he was two years old and he said he, what he remembered, when he remembered the morning his mom died and she gathered all of them around and she had Grandma Sally promise that she would take, raise her children. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that was Robert, Sally, Fred, Bertha, and Elizabeth. No, it was three boys and three girls. So that's Robert, Fred, Elijah, Bertha, Sally, and Elizabeth. 
But Elizabeth, she did not stay there in ML with them. She moved to Meridian, Mississippi with her little Annie, which was Grandma Sally, Grandpa Robert's daughter. So they said she asked for, said, can I have a baby? Because she was a baby. And they said yes. So she raised Elizabeth. And Daddy said she would come home every summer, but she lived in Meridian, Mississippi. Elizabeth did. Elizabeth did. We call her Pie. Pie. Mm -hmm. We call her Pie. Mm -hmm. okay. Nan's. As a matter of fact, that's Nan's mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've heard some of those names. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, were you named after? Ain't Poe. You were named after? Bertha Hutchison. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That was your dad's sister. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, dad's sister. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I always, like some say, Paul, I always heard call her. Uh, Bertha. Bertha. Mm hmm. And then, and then, Cleveland came, Paul, your aunt Pauline, and we were like her children because she didn't have any children. Right. So we were like her children. Okay. And then, Christiana came, which was your great grandfather, was, was which one? Tom Jim. or Jim? Jim? Jim. Well, that was Tom's child. Okay. Christiana was Tom's child. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And so she moved to Cleveland too. So there was Daddy, Pauline, and Christiana in Cleveland out of that bunch. So what's that? Because there are people in Cleveland now. Everybody did it. Was it just a matter of people kind of moving where they had Moving, family? moving where they had family. Because there is another, that was another uncle. Grandpa Robert had a child, as they call outside children then. Grandpa Robert had an outside child. Okay. And he looked exactly like the twins. And when Daddy moved to Cleveland, he moved with him, Uncle Jimmy. And we were real close to Uncle Jimmy. Okay. Uncle Jimmy does have boys. He had, what, nine boys and two girls. Okay. Mm-hmm. They li all lived in Cleveland and they never, they always associated with us and we were all grew up, well, they were older than us, but we all grew up, you know, close knit, but they never came to Alabama. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never came to Alabama. But they, the ones in Cleveland, they... They're in Cleveland. They're Browns. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they look just like these Browns out there in their yard. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are the Browns. I said we need to make some contact and, Kind of go from there, you know, but we did. We have. We have. They know about the reunion and all. Okay. Because we keep in contact with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Is there anything else? I'm gonna think of some more questions. But is there anything that I may not have asked that you think is important to share that you would like to share uh, pertaining to the Brown family, the Brown name, anything? That the Brown name is is so you know it is such a strong name. And it's strong because of Grandpa Robert and Grandma Sally. And them investing in that land and having their children, I would think what they call a compound, that they had to stay there. And when they got married, they had to stay there. And then the children ventured off into, like Daddy went to Birmingham. And his brothers and his sisters, they all moved to Birmingham. And I remember, I remember when your granddaddy got out of service and lived in ML because he and I, he used to play with me. He was just, I just got out of service. And I would go down there with Queen Pauline. And we played and he would, we would, he would say, look how, look how we shot the Japs. You know, he'd get down on the ground and he'd show me. And he was, a, you know, he was a man, I was a little girl. And we would show, and he wasn't married. And then your grand grandmother, your grandmother came, was saying to me, and then I got mad. Because, <laughs> Because Eno had a girlfriend. <laughs> and then I got real mad because Eno married his girlfriend. <laughs> but that's how the tight knit. Right. And who daddy would always talk about. We thought it was more his brothers than his cousin. It was Earl and Eddie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he was Earl and Eddie. And my mother said, my mother's from down there too. Okay. And my mother said, all over the country that you hear. Elijah, Earl, and Eddie. Elijah, Earl, and Eddie. Elijah, Earl, and Eddie. And so we knew Earl and Eddie because Daddy always talked about Earl and Eddie. And he was so close to Compaline. Like I said, Compaline moved to Pittsburgh. When Daddy came, she moved to Cleveland. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we were always, she never had children, and we were like her children. She didn't have children until she adopted these two children, Marcus out there now. And so we were always her children. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, but that that's the the bond that they had because of their grandparents. Okay. Grandpa Robert, Grandma Sally. Grandpa Robert, Grandma Sally. Mm -hmm. uh, now I've talked to a few people, and there's one thing that you know, family. 